Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3, where we are going to not explore the current inn we're in. <laughs> we're gonna... I'm not about to deliver myself to those Skellige butchers. You heard? The Albatross hasn't returned. Everybody knows. Crew gutted and flayed by now, no doubt. Hmm. They're eating moss off the side of the pond tar. Bow wow mutton's a delicacy over there. I'd rather not hear this. Nah! Well, you're easy enough on the eye. Oh, thank you. Oh, you make a fine sailor. I'll make it's your you wings, Lord. Yeah, me? Me? Best not cause any trouble. Oh. To leave city. I don't cause trouble. Whoa! What? Whoa! Oh, hello! Trouble uh, found me. Fellas, out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Butcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except <laughs> witches are more. Old villagers pitching, lords out with their purses, ladies do like with their legs. Guess eh. I've been to the wrong villages, dealt eh. with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. What do I really? Yeah. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well. How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. At home we will go. Ah, <laughs> two days. I'm glad I have the delusion. Oh, a fizz tech addict. Yikes. Well, uh, where's that guy? I kind of want to talk to him first. Are you the one on there? No. Oh, hello? Nidus? A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? Uh... Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that, or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Put your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Hmm. Uh, sure. Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. <laughs> Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? I Sounds thought you needed help getting there. there. You know what I mean? The black pearl. What are you doing up there, guy? Oh, God. <laughs> a reaper's come for me. Ah, I can't walk into this place. What is this place? I don't even know. Just gonna walk right into somebody's house. A lot of the doors are locked, but I was just curious if I could open some. What hello? Are you gonna wake up? No? Well, it's kind of barren, but... Probably she lucky to have it. Wow, tons of firewood stacked up. Good idea. I mean, that's what they had to do. But still. A broken ladder. Er, locked. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, oh, and there's that's where the stash is. Okay. Wow, there's like a whole part. What is over here? Is this like the royal place? Where is is, is this where King? This is where King Radovid is, right? This place is. Being in a large town is definitely very interesting. God. All right. The reapers come for me. Nah, you're all right, man. Actually, a shopkeeper. Oh, oh, it's the banker guy. Well, well. He was Look who's friends here. with Yen. I thought. Both himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Oh, I like it. Yes. How's business? Really? That's the best you got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting or an old gran about her health. <laughs> business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir, reaped a seven-fold return on my investment. Nice. Yeah. So you might think, but then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with I a recognize that voice. A dozen or so chests and no more. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Yay! Look at all that money! Can I go in? I can. Got any cool things that I can thieve? Ah, close the door. All right, cool. I'm pretty sure he's friends with he was friends with Jennifer. I'm rich. Oh, hey, let's go. What's this? I shall pretend I did not hear that. Fire, why be? God, the reapers come for me. That's some nice music. It's just like what, like 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> oh. Oh. So this is not the haunted house we just uh, messed with. Imp. Is in the area. 
Where you go with this here? Sounds. I've been a bit up my own business man. when suddenly up he pops and he was like, had a profitable case of leprosy one minute, next thing I know I'm bankrupt <laughs> with no means to earn me livelihood. Bad luck, like that. <laughs> Somebody came by and he healed him of leprosy you now. Your today will bite it tomorrow. Okay. Shady individual, thank you for your words of wisdom. Are we getting closer to the red light district? Oh, that was a read sign. Butcher. Nice. What's he doing here? Me? I'm just passing through. Going to the red light district. Are you no. But you look like a shopkeeper of sorts. What village are you from? Will I was here. It's into my area two days road for the Zima. Your god arrived there just before winter. The black wolves didn't mean no harm, not at first. They took good illers attacked their garrison, that is. Then they set out all the lights. Well, you hadn't done nothing to it. The North Guardians are strict masters. Exact punishment for every crime, even if they can't catch the criminal. Well, that seems stupid. People just trying to do what they can. I'll never come back, you stinking stadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying what? fuck what you wanted. Get! Who's speaking? Uh, I'll go in this way. Oh. I guess. I've had enough of living. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a floating star. Oh. Gate of the High Ark. Oh, so is this the fancy? No, this is the red light district, isn't it? Or we're right on the edge. Eh, I don't know. Daddy Lion! No, Daddy Lion, this is the door that told me to go in, Daddy Lion. Well, lame, why did it send me to the locked door? Oh, come on. Hopefully this one is not locked. Oh, frick, why did it send why did it try to send me to the other one? Ah! Whoa! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shut up <laughs> your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Dwarves have the best insults. Gear up. In the nick of time, as always. Is this like Yarden or whatever? Zoltan, with your boot to Zoltan! Oh, as yeah, always. yeah! Who were those men? A local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? <laughs> <With> pleasure. <laughs> What now, you piece of filth? Hey, great! I'll just punch you guys. Oh, oh look! I did something. I got an achievement. I kicked him too. Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages. Hey, Zoltan. <laughs> you look good. Training plenty lately. What were the war on? No, my hackerman meat to be found. The music's like, oh, you're still fighting? Just fight. You, though, you've withered the better. Something worrying you. I've withered? Aw. Uh, it's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Ah! 
Where's the <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hut like a boar in some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion <laughs> gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Ah, right, right, right. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Because something right, exploded. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. Well, we've got stuff we From can move. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the... F Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red <laughs> and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits <laughs> on my soul's yearning cords. Oh, boy. <laughs> Did you hear how he was like... He was like, he was like, he was like mocking it. <laughs> my yearning cords. What do I my pitch? Oh, no, okay. Okay. Yeah, I saw that in the background over there, that, uh, in this notice here. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep wow. forgetting he's got that damn fool name. I know, right? No wonder he calls himself something else. Oh, why myrtle petals? Is that that's dandelion? Hey, it's a stash. Something just vibrated though. Is it because of the stash? I don't think I have to. St oh, hey, look at that. What is that? Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry won themselves did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... Ugh, another day. Hey? <laughs> uh, why are you staring at the painting? Mm. Nose is too small. <laughs> the sword's too big. By the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern. <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. <laughs> Get out, pal. Hey. Getting all my alcohol. Well, this place doesn't look like it was blown up. Oh, there's a red book. Also, more notes. Noise. That was from a female admirer. She was trying very hard. Oh. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. I don't know what it said. It something. Hmm. Danny line something. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. He's it's like his he's, 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 Ah. <laughs> Dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. <laughs> Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings. Official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. Oh. 
me somehow. Perhaps. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. I'll ask the lasses ah. in my half years ah. to get the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to remove it right, before man? you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right. Uh, give me the thing that I can look at. I think he was part of a mercenary group. Me. You're not going to give me anything to look at. Uh, is there anything good in here? I, sometimes I've been finding really cool things, but in this town, I have not been. What's upstairs? What oh, payo? That's pretty extensive. There's a room over to my left. We can keep going. Everything's built very tall here. A door. Mm. Why can't I get in that door? It's locked. Okay. Well, where's... Okay, read. It says read the thing. What do I have? Oh, yeah, I got these new boots and stuff. Oh, sure. Why not? Uh... Oh, shoot. Not good. Okay. Well, I could sell all that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got that new one. And then I got tons of alcohol now. Wee. So exciting. Quest items. Oh, um, well, how do I read his notes, then? Uh... Do, do. So she's, so he's right, but he's also, like, saying exactly where. He's telling exactly where they live? <laughs> hmm, a figure most rare in her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to go and talk to all these women? Oh god. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if I was uh, if I was somebody who was interested in women, I would be really excited about this, but I just, I'm like, I gotta, talk. I gotta talk to all these girls. Ugh, it's gonna take so long. I just wanna find Siri. I'm so, I'm done with searching also. I'm done. I just want to go. If there's anything cool in there, let me know. <laughs> that I'm just missing out because I'm impatient. Let's see, uh, where are you at? You're just gonna stare at his painting? Oh no, you're not. Oh, there's a little toy horse. Oh, hey! Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Oh, shoot. Alright, here we go. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, 
Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. Uh, how do you know? Reach and he settled for a chambermaid. Dandelion's not one to judge for brother station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. <clears throat> it's if true. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. <laughs> you didn't ken half of it. No, you didn't know that. Words. You didn't ken. Well, the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the range of her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Yep. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. <laughs> threw flower pots at him. I yes, remember that one. Never die. That was in the book. <laughs> like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre deemed her Guhir. Well chosen. A Guhir? Eh? What's a Guhir? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, I th yeah, yeah, a yeah. good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it huh. seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad nice. it resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. Oh, me, I could do that. I could do that. I teach her a thing or two. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. A Doppler? Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women. I knew it was an elven this woman! Exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, Elvin is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Okie dokie then. Off we go. Let's see. Okay. I have so much money. You see how much money I have? I think like, I'm stoked. Um, I don't even know. Should we like keep going with this, or on, should Jesus. we? You mighty dwarf! Oh, let it go, Jared. Oh, we need another place to hunker down the knights. Oh, he. Maybe we ought to try the King of Beggars. What? The... Look at me. I look like a beggar. <laughs> beggar to you. <laughs> Temporarily short of a permanent dwelling. Not else. Wanna go or look in be my guest? I'm gonna see the kid. Huh. Think I'm Interesting. Uh with uh me? Thank you. Um let's see who's over here? El Elihal? Is that is that the Elven woman? She was right out was that is that the way we came in? No, it's not. But her or it looks like um, Vespula and Vespula was very violent. Uh, but this was this was the way we came in, sort of because like we found the smugglers thing. It was over here, but we could. Where you go over here? There was an elven woman I saw standing outside in this section. Hey, there's Roach. Hmm. The other three are all the way across the town in an area I have not been to, so... Alright, 
let's um see Ellie Hal. Let's talk to Ellie Hal first. I'm interested. Her and um uh, Rosa. They seem like they might have the most information. Witch hunters. Bunch of dwarves, I think. 